Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be talking about the new iPhone 7 and there's a huge announcement coming up on, ironically, September 7th. And I'm pretty excited, as always, as I think everybody is that is watching this video because most of you guys are pretty big Apple fans. And going with that trend of Apple fans, Apple has joined Twitter. I'm speechless. Twitter's been out since 2006 and you're just now joining Twitter, Apple, ex excuse me. I have no words, but either way, welcome to Twitter. Every other company is on Twitter and you guys decide that, oh, we're not gonna join. Okay, no, I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, we're here to talk about iPhone 7 because the announcement is coming up very shortly and I've been covering sort of the news and the rumors of the past couple of months leading up to this big moment. So let's see what we can see. Everything to expect from Apple's iPhone 7 and Apple Watch event. Three days. Zero hours, five minutes, 45 seconds. If you guys would like to see me do a live stream of the event, give me a like. Let me know in the comments because I'm undecided. I've never done a live stream before. I mean, I've done a live stream, but I've never done one during an Apple event. So this is gonna be pretty exciting. See you on the 7th. So this is something that we've already seen before. I covered it. I talked about how I thought that this was Photoshopped, which it still may or may not be, but this is clearly clear. You can see through it, which is something that I completely missed when I was photoshopping this thing to make it into what I thought that it should look like. But the biggest news to come out as of late is that the new iPhone 7 will come in five different colors. So as we can see here, there is the usual silver, gold, rose gold, along with a dark black, which will replace the space gray, and a fifth new color described as piano black. Piano black is kind of intriguing to me, but right here we can see another leaked image all of these leaked images. I put them in quotes because I have a feeling it's, it's all planned. This is pretty interesting here. It says improved water resistance, matching that of the original Apple Watch, which is kind of exciting because a lot of people, I don't think, realized how water resistant the Apple Watches actually were. I can attest to that because mine went through a full wash cycle in the washing machine and it came out, didn't work, and then a few days later, voila, magically it started working again. I did make a video about that, but I don't think I ever really followed up saying how well the Apple Watch actually worked. I also made a video recently talking about how my Apple Watch got shattered, which that was my rose gold one. So the one that still went through the wash cycle still works. It was the stainless steel first version that was out. Still works perfectly. This is no news to us. No headphone jack with Apple providing both lightning ear pods and a lightning to 3.5 millimeter jack in the box. That's good. That's important because you can't be like making people go and completely replace all of their headphones because that's just cruel. So fingers crossed that they do have the adapter included. The removal of the headphone jack will allow for an upgraded speaker and a new sensor for improved force touch, which we can go back here. This says pressure sensitive click less home button to benefit water resistance. New haptics to mimic a clicking sensation when the button is pressed, which is kind of really not that necessary because it's like I push the button and I know that I push the button, but whatever. Wide color display, better color quality. It's adopted from the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, so it'll offer, okay, great. Dual lens and rear camera on the iPhone 7 Plus. For a lot of people who make YouTube content, even everyday, just regular, normal people who like to make videos or take photos, this is gonna benefit pretty much everyone. So it'll increase Apple's cost by about $40. Could make the iPhone 7 Plus more expensive than the iPhone 6S Plus. At this point, you're already gouging us, and it's not actually Apple's fault, it's mostly the carrier's fault. We don't even have to get into that. Both lenses, 12 megapixels, one with a wide angle camera, larger pixel sizes, 6P lens, and optical image stabilization, while the second will be a telephoto lens with a smaller pixel size. So that's kind of cool. What I'm gonna be really excited about is to see the apps that sort of come out of this new dual camera technology, proximity sensor, shifting from LED to laser for faster response and greater recognition distance, as well as potential gesture recognition. All right, NFC support. Rather than putting a second speaker at the bottom in place of the headphone jack, Apple is said to be upgrading the earpiece receiver at the top of the device to become a full speaker. Let's see, so that's, that's about everything that we're gonna be expecting. Back to this article, everything to expect from Apple's iPhone 7. So here's some possible <laughs> headphones. I would lose those in 3.5 seconds. Better battery system that makes the phone waterproof and fast charging. It's gonna be cool to see if they really do have wireless charging, which at this point I feel like you're gonna need to have it to sort of stay in the game. 
Reports that suggested that supplies of the iPhone 7 initially could be limited, meaning the device could sell off. No, please, I don't want to sleep outside again. <laughs> really don't want to sleep outside. What about the Apple Watch 2? Alongside the iPhone, Apple is going to launch a second generation of its watch, according to reports. The upgraded watch is expected to have GPS connectivity, a faster processor, and better battery. The battery really isn't that bad. Also not good. I mean, I charge my phone pretty much every night, so I have sort of this little dual phone charger and watch charging station, so I use that and everything sort of works out pretty well. Will there be a new iPad? As Apple released the scaled down version of the iPad Pro in March, I. I don't think there's gonna be any huge iPad announcements. They'll probably talk about how many they sold and how people are just replacing their computers with iPad Pros and this and that. Yeah, I don't know. What's this? Interesting, these are some interesting mock-ups if this is in fact a mock-up, but these look cool. Looks real, real nice. A new phone, a new watch, a missing headphone jack. That's basically it. Apple Watch, other rumors suggest the next watch will have better waterproofing, bigger battery, a barometer, and the ability to do more things over Wi-Fi. But the evidence is blah, 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 blah. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I would love to know what you guys think. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see what this event actually pans out to be since most of the rumors seem to be out. And most of these rumors seem like pretty legitimate actual truths. I think one of the things that we're still waiting on is will there be a wireless charging? It looks like it's gonna be super water resistant, which I'm so excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said at the beginning of this video, if you would like me to do a live stream, let me know because I'm still a little bit undecided, but I think it would be pretty fun to do. And that being said, I have a bunch of other videos here, so go check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I haven't even flipped it around yet, but you guys are seeing it before me.